My boss said, why are you looking for products to start? This is your product. He goes, these are amazing. Start making them. And that was the birth of the French Squirrel Incorporated Snacks. For Sydney Carms Wainer, the founder of French Squirrel, the snacks started as a way to help nourish her body and to regulate her hormones. Did you say that you had orthorexia at that time? Oh yeah, thousand percent. Yeah. yeah. During her sophomore year of college, Sydney embarked on what she thought was a health journey after a doctor's recommendation to lose weight. But after joining a sorority house, her intentions went astray. There were things that people would do when they would eat because we would eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner all together with 40-something girls. It's hard not to see what other people are doing. Like, I've had so many rice cakes in my four years of college. Like, I'm so over it. I can't even buy it at the grocery store anymore. Like, there is nothing better than real bread. It wasn't until Sydney studied abroad in France did she finally let go of all the food restrictions and enjoy real bread. I think being in France was a really good environment change for me. I like was removed from the sorority house. I went to another country. Being alone, you have to sit and confront your issues. At France, Sydney started a food blog Instagram account called The French Squirrel as an homage to her French grandma. And while it took years of rewiring her mindset about food, even after her trip to France, Sydney was able to come back to a healthy weight. She also became a certified hormone specialist and even created her own healthy snack line. Peppermint. And then sunflower. Being like, okay, well, I thought I wanted my body to look this way, but it actually, in order to be healthy, it has to be another way. You have to accept that, is that it may not look like how you imagined it to look like, because how you imagined it to look like is probably what you thought by society is like the ideal body. If there's something that's telling you that you're not healthy, you have to be able to give up the aesthetic for your health.